So the question I have for you today is really simple. Should Americans learn Spanish? Okay, that's the question. That's to today's question. Maybe we'll do this once a week. Maybe we'll do this a couple times a week. We got a great response from the last one. So um, let me lay the scene. Another dog walk. I know, I know. Uh, part of our path as far as our, our, our daily trail is that we always go down hill, kind of a steep uh, uh, downhill to a street that spills out into this kind of urban little valley. And with that little valley, it's a little bit more congested. There's more cars, definitely more people. The housing's a little more compact. And the the first street that we hit is a vein from one main thoroughfare to the next. So there, there's always cars coming and going. Still single lane, but sometimes zipping on by. I have my two little dogs. Uh, and I'm not sure if this was a an afternoon walk or morning walk. I, I, I want to get the feeling it was more of a afternoon walk. Well, we turn right and we don't usually take that path. Uh, cause I usually just will, will go left and go up on the main thoroughfare, but we went right that day and I usually do two, two consecutive rights. I'm basically doing a longer loop back to the house. Well, I turn on that, on turn on to that, that, that main, that, that vein street that I was telling you about. And there are these kids playing to my right. And they look at me and they say, can you get, get our ball for us? I was like, what? And they point, can you get our ball for us? I'm like, why are they asking me? <laughs> um, so I look to where they're pointing and I see a, a kind of a, of a work workman's truck, not a huge one kind of low to the ground and you can see their ball. I think it was a soccer ball um, underneath the truck. You can see it right there. I'm looking across the street and I, and I say, Oh, you know, I can't go across the street. I have, I have the two dogs and I'm not going to let, you know, these, these kids hold my dog while I go underneath the van, you know, underneath the truck. That's like, no, no. So I noticed um, that there's some guys hanging out by the truck, right? And I'm thinking, well, why didn't they ask those guys for the ball? So the, their ball, they're playing with it. Obviously, they kicked it across and it went underneath the truck. It's no, no harm, no fall. Okay, now let me give you the information. The kids, they're black, African-American. The neighbors, the truck owners, let's say. They are Latino and maybe even, you know, kind of, uh, your, uh, you're kind of like more work, worker man's workman's, uh, Latinos, you know, with the trucker caps and the, the you know, the, the workman's clothes and they're kind of chilling. And I said, ah, okay. So in my best Spanish, I said, excuse me, can you give me the ball? <laughs> Mm. No te crees, no te crees. Now, my Spanish is horrible. Yes, as a Chicano, my Spanish is horrible. I've had to learn a lot of it on my own. I did was not raised in my formative years speaking Spanish. I can read it. I can definitely understand a majority of what's being said to me. But speaking it has always been such a crutch, which a lot of it is mental. But I said in Spanish, excuse me. Can you help me out? The kid's ball is underneath your truck. And he like, you know, as soon as I told him that, he the guy like sprung into action. He grabbed the ball and he even saw the girl with a familiarity, like a smile, you know, like as neighbors do. And he rolled playfully the ball back to, to the kids. And they were, everyone was happy. Everyone was happy. And I started walking away and I said to the kids, you see what happens if you learn a little bit of Spanish? 
they will help you and they'll probably know some english as well and you know the kids were like oh yeah thank you thank you thank you and i and i and i left and i was and i thought about that that little interaction that little everyday happenstance right that that, that those occur in our everyday where we need help where we are in a situation where if we can't talk to a neighbor to help us because of a language barrier you know that is a a a a, a chance missed at connecting with another human being so you know i was thinking about that and i think it's really vital for every american to learn another language and i use spanish because i'm here in the southwest and the majority of uh people speaking another language is spanish and it is like english practical in far as far as like your you know like your your everyday uh kind of needing things uh maybe going to the market maybe you know uh uh you know, acquiring stuff that that happens all the time you know uh whether it's materials for if you're building something i think you get my point but really even if it's uh you know a, a language like a like whether it's mandarin or french or uh german or, Whatever you think that language you're learning could help you in your community, I say learn it. I definitely say learn it. I mean, just think if in that situation, let's go back to the to the kids where maybe the kid was hurt for some reason because of that busy thoroughfare. You know, uh, I think I think adults are going to help. You know, kids that are hurt. You know, whatever or or because you know i i didn't see if i remember correctly i didn't see that they had parental supervision i think it was one one older teenager and one young kid one young kid maybe someone was trying to mess with them and what if that that kind neighbor didn't know what's going on and he's going to stay out of trouble where they could have said yelled ayuda help ayuda me whether it's a medical situation some sort of emergency situation i think uh i think it would be a great tool to have also too in our everyday right what do we love we love mexican food we go and eat the food and you know if you if we're a little bit of a little bit conscious we'll even learn some of the language you know dame dos tacos por favor and what do you notice you always notice that that, that those people are like oh bless espanol okay maybe they'll practice their english so I just think it's a no-brainer. I think it opens the, uh, it makes the, the world around you that you inhabit that much richer. That you, it, it, uh, it makes you way more useful in regards to just uh, being there for other people, being there for your neighbors. Um, now, on that tip, on that tip, people that don't know English in America, necesitas aprender. Inglés es importante también. Es importante porque vives aquí en los Estados Unidos. Simple, simple, right? Then you have that language interaction, that connectivity of culture, music, uh, food, and then there's this beautiful, beautiful exchange, and uh, that's what life's all about. So, yeah, I definitely think Americans should learn some Spanish. What do you guys think right now? Have you guys had any experiences of what I just uh, talked about? Um, and were you helpful? Did it, did, did it, did it help you guys? Did it, uh, it, did you, did they help you? I I'm really curious because, you know, as Americans, you know, we, it's good to be proud of where we're from, but it's just good to keep expanding our world. All right. That's just it. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what I want to know your experiences and your stories here in the Latino slant. Always keep your slant fuerte.